and welcome to Her Many Faces. Tonight we're gonna do something different. We're gonna get out of the studio and into and into the bathroom. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, my name's Bethany, and today we are giving a dog bath to Bailey, who is a schnauzer. It's actually more of a shower. She's a shower dog. She's definitely afraid of water, and the shower is the best way for her to feel safe and less uncomfortable, but she's still pretty uncomfortable and doesn't like it that much. She puts up with me, though, so I do fold over her ears so I don't get water in there. This is a medicated shampoo because schnauzers have sensitive skin. One of the most important things is not to over bathe your dog or your schnauzer because uh, it will dry out their skin. So she probably gets a shower bath every month or two months and then she goes in for grooming every like three to four months because there's some things that a groomer does that I just honestly I can't and I don't feel comfortable. Plus if she was traumatized, I'd rather her hate the groomer than me. I know that's selfish, but I'm just being honest. Bailey is uh, someone who kind of puts up with a lot of the things that I do, but I can tell when she's had enough. So I really try to gauge her feeling and her reaction and just where she's at before I do anything like too strenuous. She is about 11 years old. Well, she'll be 11 in February. I always over, over age people. And she does have a little bit of arthritis in her hips. So she doesn't like to stand for too, too long. So I, I try to make the process easy for both of us because it is backbreaking to shower a dog and bathe a dog in general. You're like bending over. My back was hurting. I didn't do yoga today. It was a real mess. But um, in general, it can be a nice bonding time. It can be a time where, you know, you're just relaxing, listening to some music, hanging out with your dog. And the shower is a really nice approach, especially if your dog's a little afraid of water because you can control the pressure so that it's not too scary and really um, make them feel more invited. And treats are always a good way to help a dog feel a little safer when they're in these types of vulnerable situations. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Look at her. She looks like a wet rat. <laughs> okay, stay. Yeah, I'm getting the towel. And you know what that means. As soon as a dog is wet, I don't know what it is. They just want to run around like a crazy person in your house and then rub their face against all your furniture and the carpets to try to get that house scent back on their body. And Bailey's no different. So I have to capture her like a dog catcher and wrap her up in a towel and make sure that she stays so I can get her a little drier because she is quite wet. And we do find some cuddly moments, some moments where we're just hanging out, just the two of us. I do think it's bonding. I, I do find these moments really, you know, relaxing and kind of meditative. And I think she doesn't hate them as much as she hates being in the shower in general. I think dr drying off is like a better experience. But brushing, depending on what kind of cut you give your dog, like a schnauzer sometimes will have the long skirts. You have to brush those almost every single day. So we do opt for no skirt and like a shorter cut because it's easier to manage. They still will get tangles. I have special brushes for tangles. And you just want to make sure that your dog is comfortable. You don't want to just pull through. I will start and stop and start and stop or work from the bottom or try to like see it with my hands and really understand the nature of the knot because maybe if it's too matted, you might have to cut it off. The best way too to keep a dog motivated, I find, is treats. Bailey is very food motivated. I think she gets that from me. And one of her favorite treats are these like little chewy sticks. So I make sure to remind her about the treat and then make sure she has some time with the treat and really get to enjoy it. So this is our process. This is how we do in my house for Bailey. And thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.